Greetings, dear viewers. I'm Coil Quickcard, and welcome back to Copper Quest, the meme RPG that I made myself. Last time, Gimlison was stung by a scorpion and fell in battle, and now is dying from its venom. We must wake to it. We must hurry to an oasis, where hopefully we can find a way to save him. Da, da, da. How long has he been like this? It took us two days to get here from the canyon. If I speak the cold truth, will you be able to hear it? Please! Yes, speak true, please. There is a medicine that could be made to help, but it will take time to prepare and I do not know if you will survive for even a single night. No! I will get started right away, of course, but at this point, only the gods know if he will live long enough to take it. The night did not pass quickly. Nani and Seetsin's health and energy will be fully replenished. You can trade with the merchants at the Oasis, save your progress, or talk things over. So the merchants here sell bronze equipment, which is better than the copper stuff that we managed to uh, get earlier. Is there any... Well, honestly, probably at this point upgrading our weaponry is the best thing that we could do. Uh, especially for the right of rejection. Let's chat. Is there truly nothing more we can do? Gimlison has been my closest friend and ally for years. He's saved my life several times. If his fever doesn't break by morning... We should try to get some west with or without him we have distance to travel you're right and drop a save and continue and the morning came at last it's surprisingly quiet around here. Don't expect miracles. You should check with our healer. Yes, but first I should probably equip this bronze mace and increase my offensive power by 33%. The night was uneventful, at least. Praise the gods for that. Your friend was in really rough shape. How is Gimlison? Is he... He survived the night. Barely. But he needs medicine immediately if he is to live. I haven't had time to gather the needed ingredients yet, though. And I am afraid to leave his side now. What do you need? Uh, let me think. For around here... I can use an oasis mushroom, a young pink bloom leaf, an overripe cactus fruit, and some river stone moss. That should work. Mushroom, leaf, fruit, and moss. Got it. You can ask the other members of the caravan for advice on where to find the ingredients. I've been too busy guarding the caravan to do any scouting. I saw some mushrooms to the northwest. The smell of the cactus fruit here is hard to ignore. There is a patch of pink bloom flowers north of here. Hmm. Anything here? Ah, you plucked an overripe cactus fruit. Well, that's helpful. I saw a river stone on the west bank. So, we have our shopping list. 
Not too hard to find what we need. Just run around, grab flower, leaf, mushroom, cactus fruit, some river stone moss. And I think that's it. Yep, we got all four. You have all the ingredients. Good. I'll get started right away. Please let this work. What was that? Something is coming out of the water. You shall not threaten this place, beast. Humbobo wants to fight. Alright, we've got Nami, we've got Sitsin, and one hell of an opponent. Uh, fill the party with Righteous Fury, greatly empowering them for several turns. You're damn right we're starting with that in the water. Alright, we are enraged. Our stats are way higher now. Let's try hurling the pot and using the flaming arrows. Ooh, yeah. With our stats boosted, he can barely hurt us. Oh my god, Nani. Again with the water pots. What the hell is your problem? You have got to stop this. Bobo slings mud everywhere. Pot was filled with honey. The enemy is moving more slowly. You do not stand alone! Get my sin! Are you alright? I'm not at full strength, but I'm well enough to conquer this monster. Let's see how it likes the taste of my poisoned blood. Gimli Sin has unlocked a new special skill. Gimli Sin spills his poisoned blood. Alright. Now we have a fight. Gimli Sin's new skill is Foul Blood. Spill your poisoned blood onto the enemy, weakening their offense and defense. Damages Gimli Sin a little. Well, let's drop him in a net. Now his defenses are lowered and our stats are all increased. Yeah, that makes a hell of a difference. I may need to retune his stats a little bit. Nani's party was victorious. 50 experience received and 600 Mina found. Yeah, as I mentioned, this is uh, a pre-release build. I'm basically in my final stages of testing. And, um, yeah, I'm going to have to fix that. Basically, I can tell what's happening is that uh, there is a damage element modifier on both the slowing effect from honeypots and the net. And it is multiplying those two together, and it's basically giving a 20x damage multiplier to Rite of Rejection when it hits someone afflicted by both of those stats at the same time. I do know how to fix it. I just need to do it. And we have one more stop before Ur. Here, though, it is just, you know, the normal trader. Nothing here we need to grab. Uh, we can sell our old herder's crook at least. Have, let's have a... You know what? Since this is a pre-release build and since I want other people to play it, I'm not gonna do this last chat. I'm just gonna go straight into town. Let someone else discover that. Welcome to Ur. First, the mer well, the Merchant's District of Ur. Uh, so this guy sells some stuff. Uh, we can get a Bronze Lance for Gimli Sin. 
Seatsen. In general, fights are usually more about surviving. So that the uh, the slow uh, tick of our healing can keep us alive. So who who has the lowest resistance stat right now? Okay, so you can go up to sixty seven. You can go up to sixty seven. And then that gives me two copper leggings to sell, which gives me 300 Mina to work with. Uh, I could buy two copper shields for that price. And that would bring all of my characters up to 70 resistance. Yeah, that, I, th I think that'll work. So there's the weapon merchant up here, an armor merchant down here. And uh, this guy sells all of the consumable items if you need them. But we know why we're here. Ye Nasir! Nani? Is that you? What are you doing here? We have a dispute. I'm here to settle it. This again? You sold me poor copper, withheld my money for it, and refused to exchange the goods or return my money. Yes, yes. Your message was thorough. Very thorough. Will you relent? I will not. I provided you what you asked, for the price agreed upon. Our business is done. Now go away! You will give me what I am entitled to. You are entitled to nothing! Inasir wants to fight. Alright. Let's start with an enrage. Sacred Water. And a foul blood. We're gonna boost ourselves and we're going to weaken our opponent at the same time. Alright. Uh, let's go right in for the rites of rejection. Flaming arrows. We can drop a net, of course. Oh! Yinasir used his flames on us. Wow, that is... That is a truly absurd amount of damage I can dish out. No, Nani got stunned! Impressive. Very impressive, Yinasir. But I'm gonna beat you. Okay, he's causing a standstorm. We're all blinded. Um, let's go right for the right of rejection. Drop a sacred water just to get rid of the blindness. Pinpoint strike. More Rite of Rejections. Alright, he's no longer stuck in the net. Brace. And Brace, we need the energy back. Okay, he covered us in oil. And we already know that he does a fire attack. So we really want to make sure that we use the water again. And get rid of that oil before his fire attack can really hurt us. Ooh! Nasir refreshes himself with water! 
I put a net on him, but he immediately got rid of it with his own healing effect. Uh, alright, let's enrage, let's brace, and let's reactivate Foul Blood. Yep, there's the flames. And now we are enraged. Drop the net back on him. And we're going back to the right of rejection. Enasir has been defeated. Nani's party was victorious. We got a hundred experience and a thousand Mina. Everyone hits level six. I yield! I yield! I shall give you what you want. I am glad you decided to see things my way. Fair compensation. Ending one of four. That's right. This game has multiple endings. Made by me, Quill Quick Card. I hope that you had fun. Did you know that there are other endings? Always be sure to chat between levels. And every ending gives you hints about how to find others. And that is Copper Quest. Uh, this has been my own little obsession for a while. And I'm so happy that, uh, that I... I was able to make this. Um, please check it out if you want. Link is in the description. It's free. It's just a little RPG maker project. And, you know, I will see you all on the next one.